Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how Artboard Mockups plugin works in Figma. So for that you just go to the Actions menu here and make a search for Artboard Mockups. You're gonna see this little icon with green and on, on A logo on it. Simply click on it and if you still did not install, you, can, you will see the install uh, page. If you already installed the application, uh, the plugin in Figma, you will see this little pop-up. So first thing first, if you don't have an account, you don't have to create an account if you want to try Artboard mockups first. For that, we have premium items that are all locked, you cannot import into your canvas. But if you switch between the different categories, for example here, if I go to phone category, there will be free options for you to experience the plugin on top. So, and if if you want to, if you if you experience the plugin and like how it works, you can create an account in Artboard Studio. For that, go to login and register uh, link here. Once you click, you will be directed to login page of Artboard Studio. Here you can log in with your Artboard Studio account. You can create a new one; it's all free, and you will be directed to this page. And this means you are. Artboard Studio account successfully connected to the Figma account. Now, if I go back to Figma, I will see this button here. It says reload, reload the plugin, so it will synchronize my account with the Figma plugin, and that's it. Now you have activated the plugin. So, as the interface, the plugin is really simple and straightforward, so you can easily resize the plugin window if you have room on your screen, or you can make it smaller like that. You can make a search on the search bar here. You can switch between different categories like t-shirts, like books and posters. So Artboard Studio doesn't have only phone mockups. It has lots of packaging, box and laptops and bags and stickers, device, apparel, paper, lots of categories we have. We have more than 10,000 mockup items currently. But for most cases, Figma users are using mostly the device mockups like iPhone mockups. Let me import an iPhone mockup to my Figma canvas and see how it works. Let's say go with this one, this iPhone 16 mockup. The moment I click on the thumbnail, it imports the mockup item and an empty frame on my Figma canvas. So this part is important because even though you have other frames on your Figma canvas, you cannot render them on the uh, device screen because you have to put your design inside the designated frame here. So as you see, the, when I import the mockup item, it came together with this empty frame. So this means I have to put this image or entire frame into this frame. So if I put my design inside the frame and select the frame, as you see, the button becomes green and tells me render selected frame. If I choose any other frame, as you see, it just grayed out and say select the mockup frame. Other important thing is that please do not turn the mockup item frame or the empty frame into a component. It has to stay as a normal frame in your Figma canvas. So once I import my design inside the empty frame and select, I just hit the render selected frame button here and my design instantly goes on the phone screen and looks perfect. So this is how Artboard Mockups plugin basically works in Figma. Additionally, if you have any questions about licensing or if you have any issues about any specific mockup item, you can always go to the help center, help uh, section here, write a message to us, or you can watch our tutorial videos on YouTube about Artboard Mockups plugin. Yeah, that's it. Take care, bye.